when you want to divide uh, the trinomial by the binomial, what is in front goes in the house. So the 5x squared plus 13x plus 1 is in here. Then the divisor I'm going to divide by x plus 2. The first thing you have to do is figure out what goes up top. Okay, so when I figure out what goes up top, it's going to be what's in front over what's in front. Okay, so in other words, I'm going to grab this 5x squared. Okay, that's in the front. And I'm going to put that over this x that's in the front. Okay, so what's in front over what's in front. Now, if you simplify 5 times x times x over x, one of the x's cancels. And all you would have left is 5x. Now that we've decided what goes on the top, the next thing we want to do is multiply off to the side. Okay, so I'm going to take this 5x times x and then 5x times 2. Okay, so 5x multiplied by x is 5x squared. Then 5x multiplied by 2 is 10x. Okay, so we multiply, decide what's on top, multiply off to the side, and now we need to subtract. And when we subtract, there's a couple of different ways you can write it, and I'm going to write it different ways as we go through, just for whatever your preference is. But I'm going to draw my line, and then I need to run a negative all the way through. Don't just accidentally put a minus just at the front of it. The subtraction distributes through that. So I change this positive 5x squared to a negative, and then keep distributing. This positive turns into a negative. Okay, so running a negative all the way through. Now I'm going to actually perform the subtraction. So 5x squared minus 5x squared is nothing. 13x minus 10x is 3x. And now that I've done the subtraction, the last thing I'm going to do is bring down the next number. So I'm going to bring down the 1. Bring that down. And then I start all over again. So when I start all over again, back up top, I need to figure out what's on the top. And it used to be what's in front over what's in front. But now what's in front is 3x. So it's 3x over x. Okay, so I'm going to take this 3x. I'm going to put it over x. When you simplify that, the x's cancel and I'm left with a positive 3. Okay, so I'm going to bring down... Now that I've decided what goes up here, I multiply off to the side. So I'm now going to take this 3 times x, and I get 3x. Then 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. Draw my line and subtract. So when I draw my line, I'm going to run a negative all the way through. So this one's going to become a minus, and this one's going to become a minus. 3x minus 3x is nothing. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. What we have up here is called our quotient. So the 5x plus 3 is what I'm going to put in there for my quotient. And then my remainder, I have negative 5 left over, so there's that one. Okay, so here's one more example of the same thing. Okay, so step one, decide what goes up top here. So I'm going to take what's in front. over what's in front. And if I simplify that, 
One of the X's cancels and I'm left with 5X. Okay, next I want to multiply out to the side. So I'm going to take, sorry, that keeps going down there. I'm going to take the 5X and multiply it to each one of these. So 5X multiplied by X is 5X squared. 5X multiplied by negative 7 is negative 35X. Okay, now I'm ready to subtract. Now, you can draw your line and run the negative all the way through. Another way to do that is sometimes people put a set of parentheses and a little negative off to the side, whichever you prefer. But I ran my negative through, so I have negative, and then that became a positive. 5x squared minus 5x squared is nothing. Negative 41x plus 35x is negative 6x. Let's put that in. Okay, and now I'm ready to bring down the next number. So I'm going to bring down the 37. And start again. So we have to figure out what goes on top. So we're going to take what's in front over what's in front. And then those X's cancel, and I'm going to be left there with minus 6. Okay, then I'm going to multiply off to the side. So I'm going to take negative 6 multiplied by X. That gives me negative 6X. Then negative 6 multiplied by negative 7 is plus 42 draw my line and run a negative through. So that became a positive, that became a negative. Those are gone, 37 minus 42 is negative five. So my quotient is what's up here. And then my remainder is negative five. The topics that we're gonna get to next with the long division, there's just a few extra steps as you go, but just a quick like out loud preview of that is you'll notice this was to the second power to the first power and no X's. One of the things that you have to do is if there's a missing term, you need a placeholder. So if you had to the fifth power and you were missing to the fourth power, then you had to the third, the second, to the first and a number, you'd need to put in that placeholder and say zero X to the fourth, for example. So you wanna have all of the terms accounted for in both of those.